Hey all, this is Anupuma and welcome back and I hope you are all doing good. So in today's DIY, let's see the making of this beautiful sun catcher. And it's very easy to do and it's uh, fun doing this project. So let's get started. So for this, I'm using this transparent sheet. You can also call it as an OHP sheet. You can easily get this from any stationery shop. And I had taken this print out from Pinterest. Just place the print below the transparent sheet like this. And now using a marker, just trace the design and make sure that you're not moving the sheet while tracing the design. Now once you're done with the tracing part, this is how it looks. Now you can see the design is very clear on the OHP sheet. So now you need to make a cutout of this design. For this I'll be showing you two methods. First I'll be using scissor. You just need to cut it along the outline of the design. And make sure that you're not cutting the inner part of the design. You just need to make a cutout. So do it very slowly and carefully. And one more thing guys, while selecting OHP sheet, take the sheet which is on the thinner side. Instead of taking a thick OHP sheet, if you are taking a thick OHP sheet, it will be difficult to cut the design. So take a thin OHP sheet so that it will be easy to cut. So let me say one thing guys, I find a little bit of difficulty in cutting this design using scissor. So next I'll be showing you how to cut it with a pen knife. Now let's take a pen knife and cut it along the outline. I find this method is much easier compared to that of the scissor. So you need to cut the design and this is how it looks once you are done with everything you will be getting a perfect cutout like this and now you can see by mistake I had made a cut so now I will be sticking this using a strong glue for this I am using Fabiquic just place a drop and now stick the cutting over it and let it rest for 5 minutes and now let's pull and see this doesn't come out and now the design is perfect now using any outliner you can either choose glass outliner or 3d outliner i'm using this 3d outliner and just draw the outline So once you're done with the drawing part of the outline, allow it to dry completely and this is how it looks. So now start coloring this. For this I'm using this solvent based glass colors. You can also use water based glass colors. Anything would be fine. For the leaves I'll be using this uh, henna green first and later 
I'll be using moss green color. I'll be using two shades for the leaves. You can choose any colors of your choice. So I'll be dropping down the links for all the materials which I had used. So you can check the description box. And now for coloring the birds, I'll be using multiple colors. And finally, I'll be coloring this stem with the coffee brown color. So once you're done with the coloring part, allow the glass colors to dry completely. So this is how it looks. So now I'll be using this dream catcher ring to give that support to this cutout. Turn it on the wrong side and stick the ring on the back side of the cutout like this. And now to stick this I'll be using this hot glue. Place few drops of the glue on the cutout. And now stick the ring over the glue and gently give it a press until it's fixed. Allow the hot glue to dry completely and now turn it over and this is how it looks. And now to hang this, I'm using this metal chain. You can also use any thread. If you're not having a metal chain, you can use any thread to hang this. And on the bottom part, I'll be fixing these hangings. If you have any bells, you can even hang them and use it as a wind chime as well. As I'm not having bells, I'll be fixing these hangings on the bottom part. So that's it guys, our sun catcher is ready to hang and let's see how does it look. So before the final reveal, please give it a thumbs up if you like this video and please do consider subscribing. See you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.